And it was here, of course, the evening. We're going to go outside. We're going to see Prabhupada's bathroom where one of the very exciting pastimes took place. We'll go outside. We'll see it'll be um, Cobra. But it was here inside in the evening. Cobra happened in the afternoon because there was no water in the bathroom. So I would have to bring buckets up from the well outside. So Prabhupada had water to use the toilet, had water for bathing. I would put the little heater in the bucket, two buckets, two buckets of water for taking his bath after massage. So the one day, as we'll see, we'll go there, went into the bathroom and I opened the door and there's cobra. So of course I had bucket in my hand, so I'd pew, drop the bucket, ran out, closed the door of the bathroom. And I ran onto the veranda. We're gonna see the veranda outside. And the first person I saw was Bhavananda. Prabhupada was giving darshan in his room. There's like eight, ten devotees in the room. Prabhupada just speaking with them, giving him encouragement. So I didn't want to disturb the darshan, so I told Bhavananda, I said, Prabhupada, there's cobra in Prabhupada's bathroom. So when I told him, he ran into Prabhupada's room yelling, Prabhupada, there's a cobra in the bathroom, a cobra in the bathroom. <laughs> so I tried not to make a drama, but it became a big drama. So then we all get up and we're all standing in different areas on the veranda. And Prabhupada, he's chanting, hand in his bead bag, quiet, and he's looking out. Chaitanya Mat, or Chaitanya's birthplace, and he's chanting quietly. All his disciples are, oh, there's so much talk going on. We're a cobra, you know, we had never even seen a cobra. So then they called Rasa Parayana. He was one of our um, Kshatriyas at that time. He was Mayapur Kshatriya. So he came up and he had his little knife. Little knife. So no one was Everyone was afraid to go into the bathroom, but he opened the door. <laughs> so we're all behind him as he goes in and Cobra was still there, but it slithered into where the toilet room was. We'll see that perhaps in a few minutes. And it started going down the pipe. While all this is going on, talk is going on. How did a Cobra get up to here? up to the, what is it, second floor, huh? second floor. How did the cobra get up to the second floor? So they start speculating. Uh, Bhavananda say maybe it was one of Prabhupada's god brothers, one of his envious god brothers. He brought it and deposited it here. And they were saying maybe it was the, the uh, communist, and uh, the communist did it. So I had all these ideas of what it might be. We need to stop here. He's going to make Boga offering. We can go outside. Children. Okay. So this was the door, of course, that I opened up. This wall was not there. It actually extended the whole building. So there were four toilet stalls, four sinks like that throughout the whole. Now they put this wall there for this one spot. But it was here where I'm carrying the bucket of water. And as soon as I opened the door, Cobra ran into this one toilet right there. So I immediately shut the door <laughs> and ran. So that's when chaos ensued. So then we're all standing out here, Prabhupada quietly. At one point Prabhupada said, so many people for one snake. <laughs> so many people have to take care of one snake. So this devotee, Rasa Parayana, he goes inside and he has his knife. <laughs> and the cobra literally started going down the pipe, which is how it got up. It came up the pipe. It was not a conspiracy, wasn't envious God brothers, wasn't communist. He just came up the pipe. So then he managed to grab it by the tail <laughs> and he grabs it and he killed it. Really? I never heard that he killed it. <laughs> so he kills it. 
So then that was the end. So then everybody, we go back into Prabhupada's room. And we're all sitting down. And Prabhupada says, he's talking. And then we heard this sound, like a chirping, huh? this noise. Prabhupada said, you hear that? By now we're all very frightened about cobras. We hear Mayapur, all us Westerners. All we know is cobras will kill you. So Prabhupada said, you hear that sound? He said, that's the snake bird. And then he tells us at the end of its life, the snake, it grows wings. He said, and if you kill its mate, he said, on the dead snake, the imprint of the person who killed the snake is in the eyes of the snake. He said, and the partner who's alive sees that and will spend the rest of its life searching out that person <laughs> to kill them. So all the devotees, they're, they're, you know, <laughs> Prabhupada had fun with us, huh? getting us very frightened so that we chant Hare Krishna very, very sincerely. <laughs> so then that afternoon went on, the evening went on. So I showed you inside Prabhupada's bedroom. So that night, I'm massaging Srila Prabhupada under the mosquito net. And Prabhupada had a smile on his face. He said, so, he said, how will all the devotees? <laughs> I said, oh, Prabhupada, they're in anxiety about the snake. He said, yes, he said. He said, but we don't care. He said, we're not worried. He said, if Krishna wants to save you, no one can kill you. And if Krishna wants to kill you, no one can save you. And then I said, oh, Prabhupada, huh? next to his room was our room. Servant, secretary, Sanskrit editor. So we all stayed in the same room. So I said, Prabhupada, Prajumna, our Sanskrit editor, he put his sleeping bag in between. Ours were next to one another, me and the secretary. Prajumna put his sleeping bag in between them. Prabhupada laughed. He said, ah, oh, he's very intelligent. <laughs> because if any snake would come, he would be protected because he was in the middle. Prabhupada laughed. And then he told us a story. He said, they say here locally, he said, one family, they insulted a Brahmin, offended a Brahmin, and the Brahmin cursed them that your youngest child will be killed by the serpent. So he said, every night, he said, my godbrother told me, every night, baby was in the middle of the room, in their place, and they all surrounded the baby so that the snake couldn't attack. But of course, while they were all sleeping, snake went in, bit the child and killed the child. He said, these things are going on. He said, but we're not afraid. He said, Krishna will protect us. And in fact, I always felt very protected by Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Rama.